Rottweiler Pit Bull Mix, information on the Pitweiler breed, photos, and more. Are you considering getting a Pitweiler but want to know more about this unusual breed combination? You've arrived at the proper location. We cover everything you need to know about the Pitbull Rottweiler mix in this guide, including temperament, housing needs, and health issues. Are you considering getting a Rottweiler slash Pitbull mix? Despite once being associated with being mutts, mixed breed dogs are becoming more popular. One such breed that is becoming more and more popular is the Pitweiler, a mix between a Rottweiler and a Pitbull. Although the notorious reputation of both parent breeds may cause you to pause, we can assure you that there are many things to love about the Pitweiler. The popularity of Rottweiler Pitbull hybrids has increased along with the popularity of mixed breeds, particularly APBT hybrids. Due to its Pitbull heritage, this mix is fairly common at shelters. Due to the negative associations with Pitbulls and Rottweilers, many owners may decide to avoid this mixed breed. But this breed is more complex than first appears. Despite their stark differences, these breeds also have some striking similarities. This article will explore the reality of the Rottweiler Pitbull mix and assist you in determining whether this breed is the right fit for your family. Family Breeds It's helpful to understand the parent breeds of the Pitweiler before we break down all the pertinent information about temperament, size, training, and other factors. You can better anticipate what to expect from this mixed breed by learning more about the Rottweiler and Pitbull. Rottweiler A well-known breed of guard dog in the world is the Rottweiler. A large purebred dog historically used for herding and defending cattle is the Rottweiler. It is well known for having qualities like alertness, discipline, and stamina, which have made the breed perfect for working as guard dogs and messengers. The Rottweiler is still a well-liked breed for tasks like support and search and rescue because of its intelligence and stamina. Naturally, the physical makeup of the Rottweiler plays a big role in how well-suited it is for these activities because of its powerful, sturdy build. When fully grown, this large dog weighs anywhere between 100 and 135 pounds for males and 100 to 135 pounds for females. Due to its distinctive almost all-black coat with rust-colored markings on the face, chest, and legs, the Roddy is easily recognized. It has a double-layered coat made of a hard outer layer for weather protection and a soft inner layer for warmth. Short, straight, and shiny, Roddy hair. The breed is courageous and self-assured in personality, but can be a little reserved around strangers. However, when it comes to family members, the narrative shifts. They can be silly and playful or even act like lap dogs. They may appear mean, but despite their tough exterior, they are not more aggressive than other dogs their size. Pitbull. Pitbulls make wonderful family pets, but they have a bad reputation that is unjustified. The Rottweiler prototype is incredibly simple to picture, but Pitbulls are a completely different story. It can be challenging to identify a single Pitbull exemplar because this breed is actually made up of a variety of dog breeds. Pitbulls were bred in England in the 19th century to develop a hardy fighting breed for dog fighting and pit fighting. The parent dogs were Bulldogs and Terriers, creating a powerful hybrid. Pitbulls inherited the courage and devotion of the Bulldog as well as the intelligence and cunning nature of the Terrier. The fact that the term Pitbull is frequently used to describe mixed dog breeds makes it even more difficult to distinguish between the various Pitbull breeds that are currently recognized. It does, however, have some distinguishing physical characteristics, and it is probably easy for you to picture the square head and bulky, muscular body. Pitbulls typically range in size from medium to large, though there is some variation. They are available in a variety of hues. Additionally, because of their short noses, they are more prone to a few illnesses that we will discuss later. Despite having an unjustified reputation as a dangerous breed, pit bulls, when raised by a caring family, have many wonderful qualities. It's a tenacious, brave, and loving dog who adores showering its family with love. Pit bulls are sociable and make excellent family watchdogs. Pitbull Rottweiler Mix Pitweilers are a mixed-breed dog that is gaining popularity. 
It's time to look at what you can anticipate from this cross now that you are familiar with the parent breeds of the Pitweiler. It's difficult to pinpoint precisely when or why these two breeds were combined, but the end result is an amazing blend of both. The Pitweiler is a very impressive dog, as you'll see in the following sections. One of the main reasons this mix is preferred by many families is that it makes a great watchdog, as opposed to the Roddy Slash Lab mix, which tends to be more of a family companion than a watchdog. But before we get started, we did want to point out that it can be, at best, challenging to predict the characteristics of a mixed breed. This challenge results from the fact that not all mixed breed dogs acquire traits from both parents equally. You can never be completely sure what you're going to get because the pup occasionally resembles one parent much more than the other. It's critical to remember that mixed breeds frequently result from an unpredictable combination of nature and nurture. Temperament Pitweilers are energetic dogs with protective instincts that are also family friendly. Let's start with the Pitweiler's temperament, which is among the most important considerations when thinking about adopting a dog. We can say that they are playful, active dogs with lots of strength, much like the Pit Thai Labrador Cross. It calls for a lot of mental stimulation as well as a lot of physical activity, which we'll cover in more detail below. Pitweilers are rather aloof, just like their Rottweiler parent. Though they won't be hostile toward non-family members, they don't frequently show interest in those who aren't related to them. They don't bark much either, only raising their voice when necessary, which might surprise someone unfamiliar with their gentle disposition. They are also incredibly devoted to their owners and loyal to them, but they are also independent and resourceful. Pitweilers are easygoing and adapt well to new situations. They don't experience separation anxiety, which is one trait that their owners find appealing, making them the perfect pet for households with daytime absentees. The breed thrives in a home without any other pets, so bear that in mind if you have other dogs. If you do decide to bring in another dog, it should be the opposite sex. Additionally, it's critical to watch your pitweiler around other small animals like cats because of their highly developed prey drive. Dimension and Appearance the size of a Rottweiler slash Pitbull mix can differ greatly depending on the parents. The size and appearance of mixed breed animals can vary greatly, as is common. Your Pitweiler may resemble a Pitbull or a Rottweiler more than the other. Occasionally, they get a good mix of both appearances. Regardless of which parent they resemble more, Rottweilers and Pitweilers both inherit the long legs and broad head that Rottweilers are known for as well as the powerful, muscular build that is distinctive of a Pitbull. This breed is quite commanding due to their tall stature, combined with their powerful build. Pitbulls can grow to be between 18 and 26 inches tall. This figure can differ greatly when it comes to weight as well. When fully grown, weights ranging from 45 to 100 pounds are typical, though men tend to be heavier and larger than women. Keep in mind that Pitweilers may drool because they have looser jowls than Rottweilers do. Colors and coat. There are no two Pitweilers that look alike. Be prepared for a wide range of coat colors. It can be difficult to predict the color of mixed breed dogs, unlike purebred dogs. Given that pit bulls come in a variety of colors, this fact is particularly true in the case of the Pitweiler. Any number of colors are possible from this mixture. The most typical hues are white, black, fawn, blue, tan, and even brown. Pit bulls can also occasionally exhibit merle or brindle patterning. While brindle is a tiger stripe pattern over a brown base color, Merle refers to a pattern of dots and dark colored swirls over a lighter base color, such as in Australian Shepherds. Exercise and Environment Due to their high level of activity, Pitbull Rottweiler mixes require a lot of exercise. You've probably realized by this point that the Pitweiler is a strong, naturally active dog. They need a lot of physical activity every day, at least an hour, which equates to one or two daily walks. Owners should also anticipate an additional 30 minutes of play to complete the game. Games like Rally, Fetch, and Tug of War are favorites of Pit Bulls. If you don't have the time or energy to take care of an active dog, the Pit Bull is a good option. Exercise of the mind is just as important for your dog's health and happiness as exercise of the body. 
Being highly intelligent creatures, they enjoy having their knowledge challenged by specially made toys. When you don't have time to play with your dog, toys are also perfect. Just make sure it's robust enough to withstand the Pitweiler's powerful jaws. Another efficient way to exhaust this breed is with brief obedience training sessions. It's enough to work for even 15 minutes at a time. Similarly, you can keep them occupied by giving them a Kong or hiding food and treats around the house. Regardless of how you interact with them, Pitweilers live happier lives when they have access to larger living areas and outdoor spaces. They don't do well in apartments. A healthy Pitweiler is relaxed and content to stay inside without causing any damage. But if you don't give them the stimulation they so desperately need, they can really ruin your life by getting too hyper and excited. Remember that puppies frequently need even more exercise than do adults. Training. This combination trains easily because they are so driven by food. Both pit bulls and rottweilers have high prey drives, or the drive to pursue, catch, and kill prey that is typical of working dogs, as was mentioned at the beginning of the article. In other words, they have an innate urge to chase after objects, and when this urge arises, they might lose control. A dog's natural chasing instinct is sparked when they spot moving prey, like small furry animals. What does this mean for training if one has a high prey drive? Establishing control over your dog when they are off-leash is essential because it can make them unpredictable. To help them with impulse control, they must learn simple commands like stay, leave it, watch me, and place. One reason this breed is not advised for beginners is that inexperienced first-time owners may struggle to teach them these crucial skills. Although slow and steady is the name of the game, the earlier training begins with this breed, the better. Going too quickly could be detrimental, especially given the independent nature of the Pitweiler. Going slowly ensures future success by fostering a relationship with the owner. Otherwise, once he is fully grown, you might have trouble controlling this muscular pet. In addition to early socialization, we advise early leash training and road awareness for puppies. Positive reinforcement and gradual reward-based training are the most effective training methods for pitweilers. They should never be directly corrected, punished for misbehavior, or yelled at. Pitweilers can also benefit from clicker training. Health. When adopting a Pitbull Roddy mix, you can anticipate a healthy puppy with few health issues. While Pitbulls are typically in good health, they typically have a lifespan of 10 to 13 years. There are some health risks, though, that should be considered. If at all possible, we always advise making sure you've checked with both parents to ensure you've done your homework. That will assist in excluding any of the conceivable conditions listed below. Hip dysplasia, it's likely that you've heard of this condition. A lot of large dog breeds are predisposed to developing this condition. Hip dysplasia is a condition in which the hip joint of the dog does not develop normally, making it impossible for the leg bone to properly attach to the joint. This issue causes unusual deterioration, including arthritis, stiffness, pain, and occasionally lameness. Cataracts, eye problems, particularly cataracts, affect both Rottweilers and pit bulls. Blindness results from cataracts, which occur when the eye's lens becomes cloudy and blocks light from reaching the retina. It's critical to schedule routine checkups with the vet to maintain your dog's eye health and prevent surgeries. Bloat, although bloat is not specific to the Pitweiler breed, it still poses a serious health risk and is all too easy to contract. Bloat is a risky buildup of gas that happens when a dog exercises right after consuming large amounts of food or liquids. It can lead to death because it causes their stomach to grow and twist. Nutrition. These dogs are active and their calorie requirements must reflect this. Given that the Pitweiler is a large dog, its diet ought to reflect this size. Though some dogs may benefit from three meals per day, it is best to divide meal times into twice daily feedings. No matter how many times a day your dog eats, you should never exercise them for at least an hour after a meal. In order to prevent the bloat problem we mentioned in the previous section, this time should allow for adequate digestion. Pitweilers have daily caloric needs that range from 1,000 to 2,000 calories, depending on factors like age, level of activity, and season. 
This breed generally has high protein needs, especially in the early stages of development. Ideal protein intake per kilogram of body weight is around 2.62 g. We advise speaking with your veterinarian to determine the best nutrition strategy for your Pitweiler if you notice that it is putting on weight. Grooming. These puppies aren't difficult to groom, and their coats only need occasional attention. The Pitweiler is a great breed for people who want a dog that requires little maintenance in terms of grooming. Unlike many other mixed breeds, this breed typically won't need as much professional grooming. The only exception would be if you don't like doing your dog's nail trimming. Some dog owners prefer to hire a professional to complete this task, which needs to be done every month. Other than that, anyone who prefers to spend little time grooming their dog will appreciate the Pitweiler's short coat, which it inherited from both parent breeds. Once or twice a week brushing is all that is necessary. Your dog will require more brushing if their coat is longer or medium length. It's not excessive, though. Usually Pitweilers are known for having a single coat like their Pitbull parents, which causes them to shed all year long. Like some other breeds, Pitweilers don't have a coat that is particularly weatherproof. Also, you won't always need to bathe them. It's sufficient to do this once every few months, and you'll be able to tell when it's time by looking at your nose. If you'd rather, you can wash the dog with specialized shampoos made to both clean it and keep fleas away. To maintain your dog's oral health, remember to brush their teeth three to four times per week. Costs of breeders and puppies. One of these puppies will cost you at least $500 at a breeder. The price of purchasing a Pitweiler from a breeder is difficult to estimate because it depends on a variety of elements, including location, breeder reputation, and more. But generally speaking, depending on where you've adopted from, plan to pay anywhere between $500 and up. Shelters and Rescues Pitbulls are commonly found in shelters, so we always advise adopting before buying. In addition to breeders, shelters may also have pitweilers for adoption. The benefit of adopting from a shelter is that you will save a lot of money compared to purchasing from a breeder. The drawback is that there is never a guarantee that the shelter will have this breed in stock. Furthermore, there are some dangers to take into account when adopting from a shelter or rescue facility. Numerous factors, the majority of which are usually serious, could have led to the dog being kept in a shelter, including abuse, neglect, and personality disorders. If you're considering a shelter dog, we advise learning as much as you can about how they ended up there because these issues can have lasting effects. Knowing what you're getting into and whether you can handle it is best. Before bringing one of these dogs home, you should be aware of this. As household pets. The Pitweiler is a playful dog who enjoys spending time with you. He makes a very devoted friend and is uninterested in people who are not family. He is loving and affectionate, but may not understand that he is not a lap dog. The Pitweiler enjoys people's company, but is content to be left alone. The Pitweiler gets along well with kids, but may be too boisterous for small children. The Pitweiler has a tendency to bump into things. Older people should. Final Reflections We could say that despite its intimidating exterior, the Pitweiler is actually a gentle giant. If given the proper environment, this boisterous and vivacious breed makes a devoted friend who will guard both you and your children. This breed requires a firm hand with proper training and strict rules, so first-time dog owners are not the best fit. The same is true for anyone who lives in a small space or with young children. Pit bulls thrive in homes with lots of room and engaged owners who can provide them with the stimulation they require. Pit bulls can be wonderful family pets in the right household.